Coming up on LSU Sports Showtime, the LSU baseball team looks to keep their SEC series win streak alive against Ole Miss at home. Could they handle the Rebels? And the track and field teams hosted the LSU Relays here at Bernie Moore Stadium. We'll tell you who qualified for the NCAA Regionals. Plus, a look at some of last night's intramural softball action. All that in your top five plays. Sports Showtime starts now. Welcome to Sports Showtime, your source for everything LSU athletics. I'm Brian Tompkins. And I'm Mary Claire Palmer. Later, we'll talk about all the latest from the LSU spring football practice. But first, the baseball action from over the weekend. Going into the weekend, Coach Paul Maneri felt like his veteran players were not playing with the level of effort he feels they're capable of. The Tigers continue to be sluggish on Friday against Ole Miss as they dropped another matchup 7-3. But the Tigers would respond on Saturday behind the arm of Lewis Coleman, setting up the rubber match on Sunday. Let's take you to the highlights. LSU and Shreveport native sophomore Austin Ross got the start on the mound for the Tigers. He was going to pitch his career high eight innings in this game, getting five strikeouts, one here versus Ole Miss second baseman Tim Ferguson. Ole Miss pitcher Scott Biddle found similar success on the mound as he gets Leon Landry to fly out here. Landry was LSU's leadoff hitter in the fourth inning. In that same fourth inning, Blake Dean would come to bat. He's been struggling from the plate this year and proved no, no greater as he would strike out. Biddle would get ten strikeouts on the day for Ole Miss. Next up in the top of the fifth, Ole Miss is going to score their first run going up 1-0 to zero on that wild pitch from Austin Ross. Later, Chris McGee pinched running for Sean Ochinko is going to steal second and then make it to third on a throwing error by Ole Miss. Still in the eighth, Mikey Matuk comes up in singles to score McGee, taking the Tigers to a 1-1 tie. In that same inning, still Matuk would then steal second as Jared Mitchell is going to single out to right, taking the Tigers up 2-1. Matty Ott would end up getting the save for the Tigers as they would go on to win 2-1. to one. The Tigers would take the series from the Rebels with a 2-1 to one victory on Sunday. Jared Mitchell went 2-3 for three with one RBI. Pitcher Austin Ross recorded five strikeouts and only two hits in his eight innings on the mound. Paul Maneri and the LSU baseball team won another crucial SEC battle this weekend in Alec Box Stadium. Tiger TV's Hunter Hall has the story. The LSU baseball team has kept their SEC series win streak alive at seven, winning the final two games of the weekend to capture a hard-fought SEC series win against Ole Miss. In arguably the toughest conference in all of college baseball, the players know what they're up against. You're going to sweep or you're going to blow anybody out in any game. Those kind of things kind of happen and you just take them for what they are. But the SEC is so crazy and there's a lot of talent, there's a lot of competition. And then this is the type of weekends, you know, you come to schools like this to play for it, man. It's fun. I mean... Every game, I mean, even Friday night, like, they won, but it was a tough win for them. I mean, I think every game we've had has been a couple runs if we win or lose. I mean, it's just, it's just they're all close games. They all go down the wire. I mean, you can't just cruise from about the six on. I mean, it's, they're tough games. You know, y'all, when we came out in the first couple games and we scored 15 runs, 10 runs, you know, putting up eight run innings, he said, you know, that, that doesn't happen. We, what we're doing right now doesn't happen. And when you get into the first SEC game, you see that every game, you know, it's you never get in the hall. You hardly ever get double digits. Every game is within one run, and you know you got to step up your game. And when the pressure's on the line, you know that's when it counts to deliver. The Tigers will look to keep their SEC series win streak alive this weekend as they travel to Athens, where the number six ranked Georgia Bulldogs await the number two ranked Tigers. Reporting for Tiger TV, I'm Hunter Hall. Due to inclement weather conditions, the Tigers will take on rival Tulane tomorrow at 6 p.m. The game was originally scheduled for tonight. This past weekend, the NCAA Swimming and Diving National Championships were held in College Station, Texas. In individual competition, swimmer Christoph Lubnow found the most success as he placed 11th overall in the 100-yard butterfly. 
In the preliminary round, Lube now slam a 49.57, which was two one hundredths of a second faster than his previous school record. The Tigers would go on to place 28th overall at the meet, notching their third consecutive top 30 finish. Saturday brought a successful 7th annual LSU Tigers relays. The Tigers captured big wins starting with a pair of relay titles. The Tigers 4x100 meter relay team captured its first sprint relay title of the season. Trendon Holiday completed that last leg of the race, finishing by only one thousandth of a second ahead of Baylor's All-American Trey Hartz. LSU heads to Austin next weekend for the Clyde Littlefield Texas Relays. Sports Showtime's own Seth Lewis was at the track meet this weekend and will give a more in-depth look at all the events. The Tiger Relays this past weekend brought many high-scale track and field teams into the Baton Rouge area for heavy competition. These relays come a week before the Texas Relays and prove to be a great tune-up for the Tigers. The Tiger Relays really is, a, it, it helps us as a team to just get prepared for the Texas Relays. We do a lot of rehearsal. We put our athletes in some similar situations that they're going to uh, face in running relays. And some of those relays we don't run very often during the year, like the 4x200 and the Sprint Medley Relay. To those looking from the outside in, the Tiger Relays might seem like just your average track meet, but it offers way more as it displays not only collegiate track and field talent, but also high school and kids from Louisiana and the surrounding states. I really do feel as though that the, um, the fact that we have the age group uh, events as well as the high school division and now the pretty good collegiate division when you have some top-notch programs like Baylor coming over, TCU, makes for a very competitive environment. To those privileged enough to place, they did not leave empty-handed as many gifts and medals were given away. The event proved to be successful no matter what mother nature threw its way. Coach Shaver sees something in the future for the meet. This is what I really envision the LSU relays is, is to try to keep it just a two-day track meet, uh, do our very best to get to the point where uh, we, we, we have a facility that we can uh, actually do a little more entertaining. The meet was also beneficial to the Tigers postseason aspirations. The LSU track team proved to be very successful this weekend as 18 individuals and four relay teams earned bids to the NCAA Mideast Regional Championships. For Sports Showtime, I'm Seth Lewis. The Tigers will start competition in the Texas relays on Thursday with the meet concluding on Saturday.